and welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightford and this is the inevitable John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine. Hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love adore be at one with and just wish that you'd found so much earlier does that bit keep getting longer john as, <laughs> as i told you the more excited i get the longer it gets. <laughs> i'm not even drunk anything yet john i'm not ready for that i'm not ready no <laughs> well, that's not the first person that said that so i think it's gonna be one of those videos isn't it yes definitely <laughs> <laughs> so in this video, I, there's all, I'm always fascinated by wines, that the, the grape of which I cannot pronounce. Now that's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one actually. Yeah. So I saw this one and I thought, you know, I've seen that a lot. I've read a, bit, a lot about it. I, I thought, I'm, I'm, but I can't ever remember actually sort of stopping and really tasting it. So this one's called Takibaki Yazi <laughs> It's very close. That is, that is for John. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I've heard him pronounce it much worse. But yeah, what, what are we calling it? <laughs> we called it Saki Wazzy Wazzy Yazi. Yeah. It's actually Sangiovese. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> it's not that difficult. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, thought we'd give them that. I happen to also, what also sort of made my heart sing when I saw this. Oh, yes. Was the price. I think it was about 4 65 well, You uh, can imagine him there, can't you? Just <laughs> I thought, well, you know, I'm not taking much of a chance here. No, having no. just uh, recently having just tasted one that costs us 27, and and uh, she's so still reeling from that. Still, still reeling from that, especially as I didn't think that much of it. Really. No, I mean, no, it's nice, but not for 27 pounds, not for 2,700 pennies. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd, we'd try we'd try this one, um, and uh, it's it's a grape. It's, do you know where the grape normally is is, is grown? Puglia, P that's Italy. Yes. Hey. 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 He pronounced that okay. Yeah. <laughs> Italy. <that. laughs> the, the bit. This is the Puglia is the bit that's the hill in Italy, isn't it? Right it's, at the bottom, yeah. right at the south there. So, should we have a, a little uh, sniff? I think we should. Oh, we're gonna have a look first. There we, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look on the. On the, um, I'll let you go first. Oh, I've got one here, Johnny. brown though, that label's brown. Will that have an effect? Oh. It's actually, I'm looking at it, it's, it's like a vi nice vibrant purple. No purple rim, but it isn't a vibrant no, it purple. it hasn't got a purple rim. It's, it's quite light though. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It's quite translucent, doesn't yeah. look very deep. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Let's get in there. Yeah. <sighs> So, Italy, is that similar to a Valpolicelli sort of... Um... Yeah, along the same line, because I mean, on that, I'm getting that kind of cherry-ish, but there's nothing much behind it. No, quite light. Quite light, very thin. Yeah, well, I, for, well it, Italian ones, I've always found, <clears throat> my experience of them, it, 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 in the money... Um, now he's, he's talking. I thought, I thought that might, he has pricked up, isn't it? Well, I always find that under £10, regardless of, of the wine, under £10, so it's been very light uh, and easy. And as soon as you go over £10, especially with the stuff I sell anyway, it becomes really big and heavy. There's no happy medium there. No, there's no, that, the, the middle range isn't there. No, it? no. <clears throat> but however, so, so four, 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 sixty-five or 95, did you say? 65. I knew you'd remember. <laughs> 65. <laughs> uh, let's have a taste, let's have a taste. Mm. It's very light. Mm. Yeah, the, again, the cherries there, isn't it? Cherries, the predominant, yeah. I'm not getting much else, actually. Not that's necessarily a bad thing. If you like, if you like mm. the taste of the cherry, you'd like to love this. I'm getting a lot of tannins. Yeah, there are a lot of tannins. Mm. And it, I've said on a few occasions, doesn't on a lighter wine for me, it doesn't really suit it. I mean, as I'm talking, then it's a hint of peppery, a peppery kind of thing coming through, spicy. But I've had I've had wines with we've, we've tasted wines recently that the, the the tannin is heavier and was more objectionable to me than this. So it, yes, it's quite heavy on tannins, tannins, but not to a point where I'm going. Mm. Um, I know what you mean. I think, um, as I've said many times, I'm not a fan of tannins also. I'm quite, if I pick up on them, I'm not a fan. Right. Well, depending if the wine, obviously the wine takes it on, but that doesn't take it on very well. Right. And 
for me there's nothing really after there's no real length on that um, it needs food it needs food mm. i think if you got a bit of food with that you'd be yeah you could say that's a a solid table wine couldn't you yes yeah i'll give you that well then yeah. 465 the 465 nobody's going to complain if you've got some lasagnas or whatever pasta yeah that's that's going to go down a, a, a treat with it so yeah i think i think that would suit it nicely it just take the edge off it might kill it off a little bit and then it just become nearly too easy to drink you know if you as you say it's a table wine yeah you can imagine just going through plenty of that while eating but yeah <clears throat> on it's, it's not it's not a wine to stand on its own and just just enjoy the taste and and uh, no. the sniff. No, it's not something you'd sit down with a nice good book and then uh, have a glass or two of that. No, no. But four sixty five, I'd say I'd recommend it for someone that wants to, uh, as I say, sort of have a you know a bit of pasta at night, whatever, um, and uh, just a nice uh, slurping wine. Yes, yeah, it's it's, a, it's a good all rounder. Coffee, and... coffee. That was the word I was trying yeah. to think of. It's not f offensive anyway, is it? No. No. But, that, but then, you know, it's one of those, isn't it? When you say it, it's not offensive, <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of those. Um, yeah, it's one of those wines that you, you. I think the difference is, yeah, it's one of those wines you're either going to drink while you're chatting with friends. You know, if you're in sort of a, 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 you know, a pizza place or something and you had a, a, a glass of this, way, you, you know, you're more focused on your friends and you are really focusing on the taste of the wine. Definitely. It's, it's, it's going to be fine and, and really enjoyable and will add, I'm sure, would add, add to the evening. In mm. terms of cheese, are there any cheeses or you think this won't hold its own against the no, cheese? No, it would hold it up. I'd put this probably with, with a washed drying cheese, which. Would sound a bit odd because the washed rind cheeses do they are quite pungent they are quite smelly but you actually tend to find that the cheese is quite mild and sweet you know stinking bishops are fantastic example so many people are afraid of it <clears throat> because it does stink you have a little taste of it it just becomes very mild so that 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 i think that would suit that nicely yeah yeah okay Ooh. okay well i've tasted my first changling angie <laughs> sanguazi sanguazi sangiovese sangiovese mm -hmm. sangiovese yes. oh there you go Okay, I'll forget for next time though. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know if you can get more expensive. I presume you can. I presume the grape comes in a more expensive. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a look and we might add that to uh, this, this, this episode. So uh, we may well have a part two to this. But uh, for the moment, this episode stands on its own. I've really enjoyed that. Thank you for that walk through that, John. You're more than welcome. Thank you for splashing out. <laughs> 465 pennies. <laughs> no, it, well, yeah, I, have to, I have to say, uh, you know, compared to the Malbec that we recently drank, it was twenty-seven quid. You know, worth worth per penny. This was worth more per penny. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, yeah. But yeah, you might have if we're going to San Giovese uh, kind of trip. We might find some others, nice, nice yeah. ones. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we will look out for some more. In which case, uh, until the next one, we'll see you there. I'm getting excited already. <laughs> chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>